Hey everyone, Mike Hagen from the Hagen Jones Homestead. Welcome to our video on planting cherry plum trees from seed. Pick these guys up from the Incredible Seed Company. First time ever buying seed, tree seeds from anywhere. Um, you know, they were very helpful, good price, great shipping, all that kind of fun stuff. They had a huge uh, variety. I got to pick out the ones I wanted instead of feeling like, oh, that's not enough, I better buy you know these two packs um, this particular seed needs 60 days warm moist stratification followed by 120 days cold moist stratification um, I will post a video showing you know when these seeds go from the stratification process after the 120 day cold into pots um, and there's a video on here showing you how I warm stratify those seeds um, so basically they go into some moist soil, they go onto a, into a tray that's on a seedling heat mat. And I'll put a lid on it. That'll keep it around 70, 75, 80 degrees. I'll leave them there for the 60 day warm moist stratification. And then I will move them into my bar fridge uh, and they'll sit there for the 120 day cold moist stratification process. So just a quick video of how I get them ready to be stratified, either warm or cold. Okay, so I've got my cherry plum seeds, the uh, Rubbermaid containers that I use for all my stratification. These feel like larger seeds, so I will stratify them in these containers and then move a single seed into pots afterwards. I've got my lid labeled, so I know to pull them out of the warm stratification and cold stratification with the 60 or 120 days. So I will take my, you know, very light peat mix, uh, break up the balls just enough to keep the seeds off the bottom. I've got 10 seeds here, 60 to 80, oh, 20 seeds, 60 to 80% germination rate. As usual, you know, I'm looking for four, five, I'll take everything I can get, don't get me wrong but uh, I'd be happy with a 25% success rate for my first time ever. So I'm just gonna plant these or put these in here, trying to keep them apart. I'm not sure if it's okay if they touch, but I don't think so. And get into the second pack here. Make sure I got them all, yep. Oh, I didn't show you what they look like. So this is the cherry plum seed. So I have never grown, well, to be quite honest, never grown any tree from seed. Uh, so far, I think this year, 2020, I've got 14 kinds of trees that I'm attempting to grow from seed. Oh, just about jumped it. So you see them in there. I've got them laid out, uh, separated. I'm going to top them off with this soil mix that I have. I will water them. I will check the water every week just to make sure that they're nice and moist and I've heard that mold might be an issue with the warm stratification process so I'll definitely make sure that I don't over water. Put the lid on and I will take them over to the uh, warm stratification station that I have set up. That sounded cool, warm stratification station. So this is how I'm warm stratifying my tree seeds. I've got six different kinds of seeds under uh, this lid. I want to keep them dark. Um, I'm not sure if that's important, uh, but I'm going to go with that. I have my seeds stacked up in there, six different kinds. I have another tray underneath. And then as you can see, I have a seedling mat underneath that. So hopefully keeping that temperature at 70, 75, 80 degrees out here in the shop. It is February. Um, but these guys need 60 days uh, warm followed by 120 days cold. So, you know, like I've said, I'm looking at uh, August before I'm planting these. 
Thank you for watching the Hagen Jones Homestead video on planting cherry plum trees from seed. Uh, you know, I will post an update video in 180 days from now when I transplant these larger seeds from the stratification containers into pots and then hopefully post a follow-up video of the cherry plum trees sprouting. And then again, you know, five, ten years from now, maybe another video of them being eaten by me and my family. <laughs> again, thanks so much for watching. Please like this video and subscribe to the Hagen Jones Homestead channel. Uh, there will be tons of videos of us on the homestead coming up, and uh, we'd really appreciate your support. Thanks again. Have a great night.